What up everybody, it's me, Blake316, here with a new video for you guys, and I think I got a new series. Legit, it came to me right before I hit the record button on my camera. You see, a few weeks ago, I made a video called Buying Xbox 360 Games in the Year 2021. A few weeks later, I bought more Xbox 360 games in the year 2021. I'm thinking I'll make this into a series where I buy Xbox 360 games in the year 2021 and the, the foreseeable future. It'll keep going. Because let's be honest, like 15 years later, I'm still buying Xbox 360 games. That shows how great that console was. Let's be honest. The Xbox 360 was a top three console of all time. And if you think differently, you got something wrong with your bro or sis or unidentified and you still don't know yet. <laughs> but anyway, I'm over here buying Xbox 360 games in the year 2021 still because the Xbox 360 was just that awesome. Now, not only did I buy games, but the only the games that I bought in this video are still sealed, bro. Still buying sealed games, not used games from, you know, your thrift store that you bought from a yard sale that you got from your uncle who doesn't want his console anymore. No, these are still sealed, bro. Still sealed. Now, let me give you a hint. Now, I bought a series of games that go together. Let me give you a little hint. I bought this Blu-ray. And for some, for some reason, when I see movies or TV shows, I say to myself, man, that was really good. I need to see if there's a video game and I need the video game too. It's kind of crazy. Like one time I binge watched American Gladiators. I watched every season, every episode. I knew way too much trivia about it. And I was like, man, now I need the American Gladiators uh, video games. And then I went out and bought it for the Nintendo and the Super Nintendo. It's kind of crazy. And this kind of happened with the games. Anyway, <laughs> so I bought Saw. The Blu-ray 4K that just came out. I just bought this. And I'll be honest with you. I've never seen the Saw movie before. i never seen none of them. I think there's like eight of them. I couldn't tell you nothing about none of them. Other than the little doll and they got to make these crazy choices to live. I never watched it back in the day. Because one, I love, sorry, I love scary movies. But these movies look scary as hell. Two, they also look like really like, uh, like really bloody and like just too much. Too much, bro. But... I bought the Saw movie, and he's like, you know what? I got the new 4K. I need to see if they got games. <laughs> so what I did, went online, and I was like, oh, snap. I need those games in my collection. So enough talking. Maybe you guessed it. I probably already got it in the thumbnail. What games did I buy for the Xbox 360 to 2021? First game I bought. I bought Saw. Now, me personally, I never knew this game existed because like I said back in the day, I never watched the uh, movie, so I was, never really, I was never really knowledgeable about the rest of the series and what there was out. But I believe this game was also out for the PlayStation 3. I got it for the Xbox 360. Now, if you notice, it's in this protective little case covering because this game, you see that right there? You see that? That means this game is still sealed. It is still sealed. I'm hyped. I sound hyped because I feel hyped because I'm happy with this pickup in my collection. A lot of people say this is actually a pretty good game. Look at the back. Control your panic. It's in another language. <laughs> but it's for the Xbox 360. Um, that's a couple of those price sticker. I don't really want I don't really want to show the price, right? But um I will, oh my bad. Um but I'll get to that. So I put picked up saw. Another game I picked up on the Xbox 360. Like I said, I bought the movie. I said, yo, I need the games. I bought Saw 2, Flesh and Blood. These are both Konami releases. Now notice, the game is in that protective case. Wanna know why? Cause it's still sealed, bro. It's still sealed. Still buying Xbox 360 sealed games. That's what real collectors do. But we're gonna get on to that collector's topic in a second. But let's look at the back. Do you want to play a game? Uh, all new torturous traps, mind blending, mind bending puzzles. Survive or die. Man, that's pretty brutal. Both these games are rated mature. Now check this out, guys. I need your advice or tips, whatever in the comments. Your opinion. I need. I do need your opinion this time. I got a sealed copy of Soul One. 
a sealed copy of Saul 2. What do I do? Now, I'll be honest with you. I paid a lot of money for these games. A whole lot, a lot of money. Like, bruh, like, I, I could have I could have bought something real nice a lot of money with these games. But you know what? When you when you're a collector, sometimes you gotta spend money to get nice things, right? Now here's the thing. Do I keep them sealed or do I open them and play them? Honestly, I bought them because I really wanna play them. I wanna I wanna experience them. I like playing Xbox 360. Their games all they they age beautifully, they're like gold. But do I want to risk opening these, quote unquote, devaluing them in this, I don't know, not playing them? So guys, I need to know, like, should I play them? I really want to play them. And I'm telling you right now, if I play them, I'm, I'm going to get my money's worth. I'm getting all thousand achievements in this game. I'm getting all thousand achievements in this game. I'm getting my money's worth, bro. <laughs> but I don't know. Now, like I said, apparently this was a really good game. Apparently this one is not a good game. Um, this, and the funny thing is, this was the more expensive game, the, the one that's not so good. Um, I looked at reviews. Uh, some of the reviews look really good for this one. Like I said, this one didn't look so good. Um, part of me doesn't want to play them because I don't want them to be bad games. And I'm like, damn, I wasted my money on these terrible games. But bro, this is the life of a collector, a game collector. Sometimes you get good games. Sometimes you get bad games. Sometimes you take risks, spend the money. It is what it is, you know? Um, but yeah, 2021, and we're still buying Xbox 360 games. I'll be honest with you, I post this on my Twitter all the time. I legit rather have a brand new Xbox 360 over a brand new PS5 and Series X. That's real talk. I know a lot of other people feel that way. Um, reason being, like these games, I don't believe they're backwards compatible. Not all games are backwards compatible. I still play clearly my Xbox 360 to this day. So I would love to have a brand new Xbox 360. I love that gaming era. It was golden. If you missed out, bro, I truly feel, I feel bad for you. But anyway, it's me, Blake. Like I said, I think this is going to be a new series. But low key, after buying these games, bro, I'm not buying a, a damn game in a long time. I need to chill out. But... I'm saying that now and a week later, I'll have some new crazy video game pickups. It's just what I'm into. But anyway, it's me, Blake316, about to go in on the Saw series. Bruh, like I said, I ain't never seen the Saw series, but I guess I, I, better, I better see it now. <laughs> but anyway, if you like these type of videos, pick up videos, a fan of Xbox, or just a fan of gaming, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Twitch. Um, I'll definitely probably be doing gameplay videos of these games if I do open them. So make sure to subscribe for that. Please leave a comment. Until next time, guys. It's me, Blake316. Peace.